Okay, today we're going to learn about how to use the temperature probe and how to calibrate the temperature probe for the MeasureNet system. So you will need a temperature probe for the MeasureNet system over here to my left, a beaker of water, and of course a thermometer on my right. So the first thing you should do is go to your MeasureNet station, which looks like this, and hit the on-off button to turn it on. While it's loading up, come down and get your MeasureNet probe, which has a plug like this, and securely fit it into the second plug here on the MeasureNet. Make sure it's securely fit. Once that has happened, we go up to the main menu of the MeasureNet, and you'll see it'll say station is online, so we hit main menu button here. So make sure you press the main menu button. Now while you have the main menu button pressed, you'll see a list of F1 through F7. We'll be using the temperature menu, so you need to press F2. So right here, hit F2. Now we're ready to be using the measurement. But first, what we have to do is come back down to our beaker of water and thermometer, and you need to place the thermometer into the beaker and let it sit there for about two or three minutes so that you know that the water, the temperature being recorded by the water is, is correct. Also place your temperature probe into the water as well. So after two or three minutes, come back up to your MeasureNet station. What we want to do is you have two options with temperature. You have temperature versus time and pressure versus temperature. So we're going to select F1, which is temperature versus time. And now it gives you a, a set of four different choices. You can have setup, you can calibrate, you can display, or you can go back to the main menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to calibrate our temperature probe. So you need to hit the calibrate button here. And the first thing it wants you to enter is the temperature of the water bath in degrees Celsius. So the way you find that number is by looking at the thermometer that you placed into the water. And if you see here, it is roughly, you must get at it eye level, about, excuse me, 21 degrees Celsius. So you come back up to your measure net and you type in 21.0 and hit enter. The next thing it asks you is to put the probe into the bath which we have already done. So as you see down here the temperature probe is in the water bath and what you do is you wait for the temperature on the screen to stabilize meaning it's not moving and hit enter. So now that I've seen the temperature stabilize at 20.07, I hit enter. Once you hit enter, it takes you back to the main menu for the, uh, the temperature setting where you see setup, calibrate, display, and main menu. So now what we want to do is hit the display button right here to begin measuring our temperature. So as you see now, the current temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. What you can do is now place your temperature probe into your experiment to record the temperatures for the experiment that you're conducting. So if I sit here and warm up the temperature probe, you see that the temperature is increasing as it's being heated. This tells you that the temperature probe is working correctly. If you see a negative temperature, like negative 300 or so, that tells you that the temperature probe is working incorrectly. So once you place your temperature probe into your experiment vessel, once uh, the temperature will stabilize, once it has stabilized, record the temperature of your experiment. And so that is how you calibrate the temperature probe and use the temperature probe on the MeasureNet system.